So now what we're going to do is we're going to give our petal a little bit of definition. And um, I forgot a tool at the beginning. This is actually a veining tool. And you'll notice it has a, it has a very small sharp edge that you can use for veining. And then it has a wider, flatter edge. And we'll be using that to give, um, give our little tip there its ruffle. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ball tool and I'm going to start right here. And I'm just going to run it across the edge just to give it that little ruffle. You don't want to press too hard. You don't want it too ruffled. Um, just like that. And then I'm going to take our, like I said, our flat one. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of fling it in a V, starting at this end. And I'm just going to kind of push down and, like, twist. And you'll see how it, it makes that little ruffle. And you can kind of either push it down or up. But it, you want it to look almost like a split there in the petal. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and dust this. Now take your round brush. We're going to move over here to our dusting tray. And we're going to start with our yellow. We're just going to get a little bit of yellow on our brush. And all we want to do is we want to take our yellow and starting at the bottom part of where that ruffle is. And we just want to kind of pull just a small amount of that yellow. And the same from the bottom. Not a whole lot. And go ahead and do that on the back. And now we're going to dip our brush into our cinnamon color. And you really want to make sure you don't have too much. Go ahead and knock some of it off. And we're just going to very lightly paint the tip of that ruffled part. Just like that. Now, roses or peonies, um, their petals curve cupped like this towards the center. And the dogwood, they're actually either almost completely flat or they're, um, they're curved outward like that. So all we're going to do is we're just going to curve it out a little bit and then let gravity kind of take its course. And we're going to hang it on our floral rack to dry. And now we're just going to do the same exact thing for the next three petals.